Okay, I will be the first person to tell you that this is not the next video that I was planning on filming for this channel. And honestly, I lasted about a half hour after I got this information and was like, I'm not going to make a video. I am too emotionally distraught. I'm not doing super well in my brain today in the first place. And then I got the email and it was like, fuck, my life is falling apart, which it's not. That's my overreaction. Anyway, here's what happened. About 40 minutes ago, uh, I got the email at 11 p.m. It's 11.39 p.m. right when I'm filming this. I got an email from YouTube. The first thing I'm just gonna do is read it out to you. If I remember, I'll put screenshots on the video so you can read along with. Today we are announcing changes to the YouTube Partner Program. While our goal remains to keep the YouTube Partner program open to as many channels as possible, we recognize we need to place more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across YouTube's ecosystem. What's changing? Under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your YouTube channel, Riley Kyle Dignan, is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partner Program on February 20th, 2018. Unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days. Accordingly, this email has served as your 30 day notice that your YouTube partner program terms are terminated. This is fucked up. I have been doing YouTube for almost three years now. In June, I think, or May, it'll be three years that I have been posting videos. And I know I haven't been super active the last couple months, hello, mental breakdown, but sometimes you just gotta take space. But to have just come back and like literally, not even joking, I'm nine cents away from my first AdSense payout from YouTube over three years. I've never been paid by YouTube, never been paid out, but I have monetized my videos and I'm literally nine cents away from getting paid. But I don't even know if I'm going to get paid anymore from YouTube with these new policies because if I lose all access to AdSense and the YouTube Partner Program, am I even going to get the $100 that I did earn? This is fucking with a ton of smaller creators. As soon as I got this email, I logged onto Twitter and I literally, my entire feed was all of my small creator friends who got the same email that are just as distraught as I am and trying to figure out what on earth we're going to do. It's not like the smaller creators like us rely on YouTube's monetization for income or to support our daily lives, but literally, it's so fucked up that YouTube is willing to put a video that had a hanging body and, like, witness suicide and, like, you know, put that on the trending page, yet all their small creators, they're just saying, nah, fuck you, you don't get to monetize your videos anymore, you don't get to produce any more content for us that gets to be rewarded with money or advertising. And I also wanna say that YouTube's email is 100% hypocritical. The first sentence in the next paragraph says, one of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel. Thriving is a subjective word. I personally consider my channel thriving. I consider it thriving since the first year I made it. It is literally my definition of thriving. Thriving to me means that I'm helping people, that I'm reaching out to people, that I'm able to produce content that I'm happy with that other people like to consume. The numbers are not what makes my channel thrive. I literally cannot put into words how angry I am, how upset I am. This is bullshit. YouTube, if you're watching this video, first of all, you're probably gonna take it down. If you do, fuck you. Second of all, if you're watching this, do you have any idea what you're doing to the smaller creators on the platform? You're literally making it impossible for us to have motivation to continue making content. Yes, I've only made like $100 off of the three of my channels in the past three years. But when my channel starts to pick up, I start to gain more views, but I'm not quite at the threshold, that's a ton of AdSense money that's just going away that I would have had if you would have left your policy the way it should have been, where anybody can become a YouTube partner and anybody can monetize their videos if they fit the criteria of being advertiser friendly, which, is bullshit anyway because I did just look like two weeks ago and uh, one of my videos about my top surgery was demonetized. There was no foul language or graphic things in the video. There is no reason for that video to be demonetized and that's fucked up on YouTube's part censoring queer creators yet again. So this time not only are they censoring queer creators, they're censoring smaller creators. I'm sorry if none of my words make sense and I'm not using the right words and I'm not placing things together. I'm just so incredible 
incredibly upset and distraught by this. If you watch me, I'm a small YouTuber. Like, I'm literally a small YouTuber. I'm the definition of a small YouTuber. If you watch me, this YouTube policy change is going to be affecting you because if you watch me and other small creators, there's probably going to be a change in the amount of our content, the quantity of our content, how often our content comes out. A lot of us will probably be losing motivation because it seems like we can never get anywhere on YouTube. And of course, making money is not the sole purpose of YouTube, but when you're working so hard and putting so much into it, getting a little bit back sometimes is really nice. And now the fact that I've had this channel for three years and I might not even get what I have legally earned from YouTube really fucks me up. There are other creators like Chris Lawrence, Isaac McFadden, like good friends of mine who also do YouTube who are going to be substantially affected by this. So if you're watching this, email YouTube, tweet YouTube, forward this video to YouTube, probably not this video, but other people who make more coherent videos. This is not an okay thing for them to do. The fact that they are letting people who go viral for showing dead bodies hanging in trees uh, make millions and millions of dollars off YouTube, but I can't even make a goddamn dollar because my channel's too small, that's pretty fucked up. As of right now, I don't have a ton of information on this. I got sent that email a half an hour ago, and there has not been a official stance that YouTube has said other than sending out the email and posting something on their blog. They have not responded to any of the creator outrage that has happened on social media so far. If you would like to help us get there and maybe try to change this so, you know, smaller creators like myself can actually monetize our videos and get shit back for how much we put into the platform because, because while large creators, uh, definitely bring people to the platform at first. It's smaller creators who keep the platform running. If it weren't for smaller creators producing content and supporting the platform, the platform of YouTube probably wouldn't still be around. I just want you guys to think about that, and if you would like to help us out at all, email YouTube with your thoughts, your concerns, make sure to tweet YouTube, tweet YouTube creators, and let them know why you think this is fucked up, let them know why you think this is wrong. I'm really, really upset about this, and there's not much more I can do other than make this video and be like, what the fuck, YouTube, fuck you. Like, I'm actually so mad about this. The policy changes are legitimately not helping anyone. If anything, they're only harming smaller creators. Hope you're happy with yourself, YouTube.